Bueno, es una respuesta complicada. Locker Room Talk es cuando hombres están dentro de un locker room y están hablando sobre cosas que no hablarían en público, eh, en frente de mujeres en específico. Um, just sort of like sexual bragging, like bragging about like, oh, I did this, I did that. And I think that's mostly, um, mostly, um, I, I don't think that's really very harmful. It's talking more like in a bromance type of way. Yeah, that's what it is. And uh, also, it's more talking about how more the, talking about the sport and normally the depression associated with it. That's the way we talked, at least. We didn't have a very good year. Locker room talk. Um, to me, it's just really device used to used by people, so men aren't held culpable. I was raised in Saudi Arabia, so you know, different. But generally, women are viewed as Um, well, I'm from Nigeria, so, well, Nigeria is kind of like a misogynistic society. See, the thing is, the, the issue in Saudi Arabia is very taboo, so yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd ever make rape jokes, considering the fact that I have a sister. Well, um, you know, assault wasn't really something my parents talked about very much with me. My dad, I haven't, I really haven't talked to him about that yet, but my mom, it was so annoying. I asked her whether she was a feminist, and then she was like... I don't like labels, and I was like, girl. I mean, in America, everything in Saudi Arabia that's hushed down, such as like sexual assault and all that stuff, um, it's kind of a lot more exposed here, I've noticed. Yeah, no, I've heard things in the, <clears throat> in the locker room that make me uncomfortable. You, you hear things that make you uncomfortable pretty much anywhere. But yeah, it's definitely negative. In a lot of, a lot of protecting of masculinity. It's yeah. a big, big part of it. It's like, that is, actually, it kind of might be rite of passage. Well, it's kind of like what gets you accepted into the tribe, so to speak. And if you, like, you know, like, that's the norm. And if you don't really, like, t and to get up in social circles or to become part of a social circle, it's almost required that you are, say something offensive or offend someone or make rape jokes. And if, if, if like, dismissing so much humanity or being offensive is the price, and the down payment for you becoming accepted in the tribe, then people will do it. I mean, uh, I know that that, that, that stuff exists. Uh, like, I know it happens in America, but between me and my friends, we all, like, we all come from a family with, like, at least other girls in the family, you know? And so, like, if anyone, I don't think any of us have said stuff like that, but if any of us were to say stuff like that, we would get on them, we'd tell them, call them off for it. Like, what are you saying, bro? You'll hear a joke about something that'll make you uncomfortable, and generally, when when that happens, I try to try to talk to them, and say say something. So, cause you know I have a mom, so it's like when you take like sex ed classes and they say it's okay to laugh when you're uncomfortable, right? And it's like that kind of like messes with your brain, and it's like murder jokes. It's like things that make you uncomfortable are humorous in a way. So, you know, I, I don't like hearing those. Um, uh, th that might just be the way I'm raised. I, you know, I don't consider myself a sensitive person either. Like, I don't really, like, get upset about a lot of things, but that, that's probably one of them. In Saudi Arabia, walking down the street, I feel quite comfortable. Oh, I'm actually quite scared. I don't, I don't feel unsafe when I walk alone. When I walk down the street, I don't really... I'm not really afraid of anything. Awareness is only gonna, if like, one can only be so aware, and at yeah. some point, it either clicks or it doesn't. Like, so it has to be personal. I think that sort of comes from, you know, seeing women in, you know, like, higher places or doing things that are, that are important. I think that's more important than saying, like, oh, no, you can't call a girl at seven, or you can't say this, or... It's yeah no it's definitely it's definitely eye opening you don't really you don't really think about it until it's like in your face so I mean you just have to somehow find a way to get the people that are talking about this to understand in a way that you could connect with them um, I mean 
everyone has a mother. Assault or abuse against anyone you shouldn't be doing. That's wrong off every book. You don't, you shouldn't have to tell yourself that I'm being moral because I'm stopping people from hitting other people. No, it's just common sense. I think you, it have to like be, you'd have to start from the roots, which would be the way men are taught. You'd have to teach them, you'd have to teach them that they are accountable for what they say. And yet, somewhere among the hard eyes, there's a face and another who shares her story, who takes her hand, who screams to the sky, we are united, we are worthy. And slowly, with the heavy damp of her aloneness fading, she learns to face a day, to unclench her fingers, to put change and faith in the changing world.